Good day. This is going to be the first of a series of videos wherein we're going to simulate mathematics contests. So we call this Math Contest Practice Drills for Filipino Kids. And this video will simulate an easy round of a mathematics contest for grade 7. Before we begin, re prepare your answer sheets. Each question will be given 15 seconds for you to answer. And each question must be answered mentally. Okay, let us begin with question number one. Question number one. What is 27 more than the product of 14 and 9? What is 27 more than the product of 14 and 9? You have 15 seconds. Go. Okay, time is up. The answer is 153. Did you get it? Okay, let's proceed to question number two. Ready with your answer sheets. If six pipes can fill a pool in 40 minutes, how long will two pipes fill it? Again, if six pipes can fill a pool in 40 minutes, how long will two pipes fill it? Go. Okay, pencils up. What is the answer? 120 minutes. Let's proceed to question number three. Okay, a room 8 meters by 6 meters has a carpet 5 meters by 3 meters in the middle. What area of the room is uncovered? A room 8 meters by 6 meters has a carpet 5 meters by 3 meters in the middle. What area of the room is uncovered? Go. Okay, pencils up. Let's look at the answer. It's 33 square meters. Let's go to question number four. In a class of 40 students during a storm, 8 students were absent. Those present were what percent of the class? Again, in a class of 40 students during a storm, 8 students were absent. Those present were what percent of the class? Go! Okay, pencils up. Let us see the answer. It's 80%. Let us proceed to question number 5. What is 32x raised to the 4th power y cubed minus 40x cubed y raised to the 5th power divided by 8x cubed y cubed? What is 32x raised to the 4th power y cubed minus 40x cubed y raised to the 5th power divided by 8x cubed y cubed? Go! Okay, pencils up. Let us see the answer. It's 4x minus 5y squared. Okay, did you get the correct answer? Let us proceed to question number 6. A rectangle has an area of x squared minus 5x minus 24 square centimeters. 
and the length of x plus 3 centimeters. Find the width. A rectangle has an area of x squared 5x minus 5x minus 24 square centimeters and the length of x plus 3 centimeters. Find the width. Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's x minus 8 centimeters. Okay, let us have the next number. Question number 7. Miss Cruz has 24 meters of cloth. She needs 1 and a half meters for a dress. How many dresses can she make with a cloth? Miss Cruz has 24 meters of cloth. She needs one and a half meters for a dress. How many dresses can she make with a cloth? Go. Time is up. There's the answer. It's 16. Okay, let us proceed to the next question. Question number 8. If x is an integer and 4 minus 3x is less than 16, what negative values of x will satisfy the inequality? If x is an integer and 4 minus 3x is less than 16, what negative values of x will satisfy the inequality? Go. Okay, time is up. Let's see the answer. It's negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, let's proceed to question number 9. What number is halfway between one third and one fifth? What number is halfway between one third and one fifth? Go. The answer is four fifths. Last question. Question number 10. If 27 cubed times 9 raised to the fourth power equals 3 raised to n, what is the value of n? Again, if 27 cubed times 9 raised to the fourth power equals 3 raised to n, what is the value of n? Go. Pencils up. Let's see the answer. The answer is 17. Did you get all the correct answers? Okay, if not, let us try to discuss the solutions to our 10 questions. 10, 15 second questions. Okay. Questions here must be answered mentally. However, we're going to show the solutions. Number 1, what is 27 more than the product of 14 and 9? So we're looking for a number that is compared to the product of 14 and 9. And how was it compared? It is 27 more than the product. So in mathematical expression, we have it as 14 times 9 plus 27. 14 times 9 is 126 plus 27. So the answer is 153. Question number two, we have, if six pipes can fill a pool in 40 minutes, how long will two pipes fill it? This is an example of an indirect variation. 
So if we let P be equal to the number of pipes and T be the number uh, or the time in minutes, then the number of pipes to fill the pool will be indirectly proportional to the time the task will be done. Mathematically, we can show it as P1, number of pipes at first, over P2, number of pipes in the second situation, is equal to T2 over T1 because we have an indirect proportion. Solving for time, or T2, multiply both sides by T1, then we have P1 times T1 over P2. Therefore, we get by substitution, T2 is equal to 6 times 40 divided by 2. Therefore, the final answer is 120 minutes. Let's proceed to question number 3. A room 8 meters by 6 meters has a carpet 5 meters by 3 meters in the middle. What area of the room is uncovered? So we're getting the difference between the areas. The area of the room minus the area covered by the carpet. So if we do that, we have 8 times 6, the dimensions of the, the, the room, minus 5 times 3, the dimensions of the carpet placed in the middle of the room. So the uncovered area is 48 minus 15, that is 33 square meters. Question number 4. In a class of 40 students during a storm, 8 students were absent. Those present were what percent of the class? So the number of students who were present is 40 minus 8, since there are 8 absent, are eight absent students, that is 32. So the problem is asking, 32 is what percent of 40? By that, we get the percent as 32 divided by 40 times 100%, or that is 0.8 times 100. 80%. Let's go to question number 5. What is 32x raised to the 4th y cubed minus 40x cubed y to the 5th power divided by 8x cubed y cubed? So, mathematically, we express this as 32x to the 4th y cubed minus 40x cubed y to the 5th power divided by 8x cubed y cubed. So we rewrite as two difference of two fractions. 32x to the fourth y cubed divided by 8x cubed y cubed. Following the rule of exponents, we can get 32 divided by 8 is 4, then x to the fourth over x cubed is x, y cubed over y cubed is 1. Next, 40x cubed y to the fifth over 8x cubed y cubed. 40 divided by 8 is 5 x cubed over x cubed is 1, y to the fifth over y cubed by rule of exponent that is y squared. So the answer is 4x minus 5y squared. Let's go to number 6. A rectangle has an area of x squared minus 5x minus 24 square centimeters and a length of x plus 3 centimeters. Find the width. So we're looking for the area of the rectangle, uh, the width of the rectangle, and we know that area is length times width. We derive this equation to get the width, we get area of the rectangle divided by its length. Substituting x squared minus 5x minus 24 over x plus 3. We can do long method division here, but we know that the numerator is factorable, and we can factor it to x plus 3 times x minus 8 over x plus 3. x plus 3 cancels, so what is left? The width is x minus 8 centimeters. Let us proceed to question number 7. Miss Cruz has 24 meters of cloth. She needs 1.5 meters for a dress. How many dresses can she make with the cloth? So the number of dresses can be obtained by dividing 24 by one and a half meters. If we do that, we express 24 times the reciprocal of the divisor, 
which is 2 thirds. So, 24 times 2 is 48 divided by 3, 16. Miss Cruz can make 16 dresses. Next question, number 8. If x is an integer and 4 minus 3x is less than 16, what negative values of x will satisfy the inequality? If we solve the inequality, we have 4 minus 3x less than 16. By addition property of inequality, that is negative 3x is less than 16 minus 4, adding negative 4 to both sides. And then dividing both sides by negative 3, that will be x is greater than 12 over negative 3. Therefore, x is greater than negative 4. And the negative values that are greater than negative 4, I mean negative integers that are greater than negative 4, are negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. Next question, what number is halfway between one-third and one-fifth? When we are asked for a number halfway between two other numbers, the solution will be add the two numbers and divide it by two. Or we are looking for the midpoint. Therefore, we have one-third plus one-fifth divided by two. Okay? One-third plus one-fifth is equal to eight over fifteen. Express the division as multiplication, then get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 8 over 15 times 1 half. The answer here is 4 over 15. Last question. Number 10. If 27 cubed times 9 raised to the 4th power equals 3 raised to n, what is the value of n? We know that 27 and 9 can be expressed as an exponential expression to the base 3. 27 is 3 cubed and 9 is 3 squared. Applying the rules of exponent, then we have 3 raised to 9 times 3 raised to 8 equals 3 raised to n. Again, by rule of exponent, we add the exponents having the same base as 3. So 3 raised to 17 equals 3 raised to n. By comparison, for these two values to be equal, n must be 17. So that's all for this easy round. Thank you. For more of these math contest drills, please subscribe to this channel.